here's what's being reported so far because the cops haven't actually talked to Rishi. Like he seems like he's just floating in the wind somewhere. So it's taken a minute to try and track him down, which I'm sure if he was involved is part of the strategy of all of this. It's just for the chiefs, man, this was a young player that you're banking on. This is a bad look in the off season for somebody that you is, is important part of what you're trying to build towards. Right. I, I mean, first of all, I'm just glad that nothing worse happened out of this. I, I mean, it, look, we don't know Rasheed Rice's involvement. We're, we're all getting facts here. The police will get involved. But if it is, if she is involved in any way, you do think back. Henry Ruggs only happened a couple of years ago. You would think a guy in his position, a, a young ascending receiver, same position, would not get involved in this nonsense. What are you doing? It's just kind of a message other NFL players, whoever was involved in this, make better decisions. The, you, you don't need to do this. This is... You're 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 a professional now. You you're, you shouldn't be driving your Lambo uh, 100 and whatever miles an hour down the street racing somebody else. Make better decisions. This is not just your life; other people's lives involved, and your profession too. We'll, we'll see where it all goes. But we all saw the video. It's scary. It, it it could have turned out a lot worse. I'm glad it didn't. I just want to remind everybody a very core, easy thing to know is that every NFL team gives every single player an allocation of money that they give for the year to use for cabs or Ubers for free. There's absolutely nothing, no consequence to that. You also have somebody on call 24-7 with the team that will pick you up anytime, anywhere you ever need to go anywhere. So obviously that's something I talk a lot about whenever there's a DUI instance. But also when you're talking about guys driving like idiots down the freeway, there's just an element of me that's like, understand the leveraged risk you have, not just in hurting people. Obviously, as you said, that's the most important part of this, hurting yourself, changing multiple people's lives. Those are all incredibly stupid things to do. But on top of that, knowing that the systems are in place, Frank, even if there's nothing done wrong, if they find out that this is where she Rice was involved in this and he left the scene, that's a terrible look. They have these systems in place, like you talked about, with the "Hey, call that, call this person. We'll give you a ride. We'll pay for your lift, whatever." Because they don't want these guys getting in trouble with the law, or getting suspended. Also, they you know they want their players to be safe and all that kind of stuff. But yes, everything is in place for these guys to just. It's just making smart decisions. Yeah, it's just it's just frustrating because you know we saw how, and I, I keep coming back to rugs because we saw how his life. He threw it away. I, I mean, this is a guy who was a, another ascending NFL player for a first round pick. And, you know, he took somebody else's life and, and, and just just doing stupid stuff, being an idiot. And you just you hope that hopefully there's a lesson for other guys, whether she Rice was involved or not. Just be smarter. You, you don't need to do this. Come on.